When I was in medical school, towards the end of medical school, the last two years of medical school were rotations. So, and I, I, it's probably organized a little bit differently now. Back when I was there, the first two years are uh, didactics. You sit in the lecture hall, you listen to uh, professors, you take tests, that sort of thing. The second two years uh, are split up. The first of those years is uh, you have set rotations in internal medicine, surgery, pediatrics, and a couple other things. You kind of get an understanding of what your the uh, attendings do, and then your last year you get more elective time and figure it out. By the end of my residency, I was a bit torn between doing internal medicine and surgery to the point where I thought, man, maybe I'll apply to both. And there was a process called the match process where you um, put a list of you interview places, and then you put a list down of all the places you'd like to go. It goes into a computer database, and then one day everyone opens an envelope and you find out where you matched for the next X number of years. So I thought I was to the point torn where I thought I was gonna to apply to both and make a list and then go. But then I decided I, um, I was gonna go the internal medicine cardiology route because I thought cardiology was ever expanding and interventional cardiology especially was a nice procedural field, but you got to know a lot of internal medicine stuff ahead of time and I really did like the internal medicine aspect of it. So it was a good mix of procedures and knowing stuff and treating people. And I enjoyed the variability there was.